Yeah. All right, guys, we're finally at 10K, 10K subs. We promised you guys a live Q&A. Yep. Not a live, but a Q&A at 10K. <laughs> and so here we are today. So first question is, how did you guys meet? Uh, well, Mike and I met in elementary school. And maple, I, sorry? Yeah, I asked him, I was like, yo, you from Maple? And he was yeah. like, yeah, I'm from Maple. And then yeah. Sheldon came. And met then Sheldon. I, met, um, I met these guys uh, playing basketball near my house. The first time I met Mike, he uh, challenged me to basketball. I beat him one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> and then, and then, and then, and then me to play again he's like again 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 like oh, 10 yeah. times. he does that all the time 10 times and then i kept, all I kept the time. fishy fishy, fishy. <laughs> From YouTube asks, do y'all know any other languages besides Canto, Mando, and English? Love from Malaysia. Love from Toronto. Yeah. I speak English, Cantonese, Mandarin, French, and Spanish. Spanish. <laughs> Spanish. French and Spanish. Spanish. French and Spanish. I speak English, Cantonese, Mandarin. I actually speak French. Dude, I lived in France. English, Mandarin, and Cantonese. Just a little bit of Cantonese. Dude, you speak no, no Cantonese. No Cantonese, man. Dude. So Ali Ali on Instagram asks, what is the main motivation to create the channel and the parents' reaction? And who has pets? So I have two cats, they have no pets. The main motivation to create the channel was um, to uh, share Chinese and Asian culture. Uh, that's why I started off teaching, chi teaching yeah. Chinese really poorly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yes, so to this day, it's still like that, you know, to make yep. people feel proud of their culture, uh, whether it's, you know, Chinese or Korean or whatever you are, just be proud of your heritage and. Everything like that. Yeah, That's why we and, continue to use Chinese in our videos. And part of it was because we want to do it in a very funny way and kind of break the stereotypes. So, you know, let loose and, you know, have yourself laugh at some of the things that everyone goes through and have these relatable experiences really speak to each one of us. Yeah. I think that's one of the uh, motivation as well. Yeah. And we're all really good friends, so. Yeah. It's always a fun time. Yeah. Sorry. What do you guys study in university? How do you guys balance school and YouTube? And this is from Joy Joyce on Instagram. So um, I go to Waterloo and I'm in urban planning. Uh, I go to Waterloo too. I'm in engineering. I go to. I went to Queen's University. I just graduated. I studied commerce there. Yeah. And uh, so me and my, me and Mike are both graduating next year. Whereas Edward just graduated. Uh, how do we balance school and YouTube? We don't. We're yeah. kind of screwed. Wing Bex on IG asks how to deal with racist jokes that hurt you. So the way the way I deal with them is. You know, if I can address the person saying it, I will. I like I tell them, you know, that's that's not right, whatever, and then I just let it go. It, yeah. It's it's you, you address it and then don't hold on to it, otherwise it just hurts you anymore. It hurts you more. So um, there's this quote that's like if you hold on, grab the ember that, like if you try to hurts. Wait, fuck, how does it go again? Uh, but the quote is along the lines of like don't hold the embers. The, like the embers representing the flames of your anger. Because <laughs> otherwise it just hurts yourself. What, the, what was that quote, man? What yeah. was that? I don't remember the quote. If you, if you heard the embers, you're gonna burn your head. <laughs> this is one of the things we try to do with the channel is to have some of these jokes and stereotypes and just be able to laugh at it. You know, you can't control what people are gonna say to you. You basically can only control how you react yeah. to them. And uh, for me personally, I think it's all about um, just understand that. You know, these jokes come from people, generally it's more ignorant people, you know, just, you can't control what they do, so just don't let it get to yeah. you. And also, remember, don't hold ember, okay? <laughs> because don't let them yeah. like, don't, 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 okay? don't hold ember. Don't hold ember, Don't hold ember. Don't hold ember. Nazia underscore XO on IG says, how do I react to haters? And like Drake says, haters are motivators. <laughs> <laughs> so one food to eat for the rest of your life, what would it be? I go Kim on IG, uh, definitely fish. Uh, I choose sushi, but if it was just like one ingredient, it'd be fish. If it was just one thing, oyster, raw oyster, raw oyster. So a glassy shell. I choose like Popeyes fried chicken. What animal best represents you and why? Sahara three nine three six on Instagram. <laughs> for me, for me, I think a lion best represents me. Can we hear your roar? I think I think a lion is represents me. A lion is um uh, fierce. <laughs> <laughs> Strong <laughs> and noble. Oh, oh, my, god. Okay, oh okay. my god, you're the funniest guy. Can, you, can we hear you roar? Can you hear you roar like a lion? Um, <laughs> I would be a squirrel. squirrel. Because I, I'm a squirrel whisperer. Like, seriously, I'm a squirrel whisperer. Okay, and then um, I would be an eagle or a bird. Because I like to, to go places and just fly. Wow. No responsibility. If you guys were wizards from Harry Potter, what house from Sabrina is the man on IG? Um, I mean, I don't want to be Hufflepuff or Ravenclaw because they're relevant. Dude, if, if it, Noble Sheldon, wow. you must you must be a Gryffindor. <laughs> yeah, you must be a Gryffindor. So noble, right? <laughs> You're so courageous and fierce and wow. noble. Um, which one would you be? 
Uh, I actually did a, a online test and I was a Huff, oh no, sorry, a Gryffindor or Ravenclaw. So one of those two. Pro probably like us. Uh, Ra <laughs> Gryffindor by day and Slytherin by night. If you were a girl, would you date, which, who would you date out of the other three? Other than yourselves by Nin, Tanders, and IG. Answer would be Sheldon because Mike is very... Wait, you, you would date Sheldon because I'm very something? Yeah. It's because I'm too much something, that's why you date Sheldon? Yeah. Not because you have any good traits, but because he wins by default. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I would date Sheldon because Mike yes, is yes, alone. Yes, yes, Mike has too many bad traits, so I would date Sheldon. What? Yeah. I don't have any bad Yo, traits. He's too, he's too complicated. He's what? too oh egotistical. I'm complicated. I'm the most simple man here. And, uh, oh and he's too, too picky about things, you know? Yo, I would... Um, I'd probably pick Edward too. Why? Because yeah. why? Mike, Mike. Oh, is, see, everything goes back to me now. Mike is very high maintenance. Yeah, it, he's, a, he's a very, he's like a drama queen. He's very high maintenance. I'm not even drama kidding. Queen. I, I'm serious. <laughs> That's true. How so? Name a situation where I was drama queen. Bro, we we can step on the carpet, but we can't put our socks on the carpet. It That's just any a sense. rule. Well, aside from myself, which I would obviously want to date, probably date um, probably date Sheldon because Sheldon's very low maintenance. Not because Edward's bad, but because Sheldon's very low maintenance. Thanks, Robert, thanks. And Sheldon's very feminine at times. Like, especially <laughs> in the washroom, sits down when he pees. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's clean. It's clean. It's clean. <laughs> it's his nails. It's you know? clean at home. Everything else. Yeah. Min Jie. Sorry if I read this wrong. Um, Min Jie Tai from Facebook asks Do you ever stalk your fans? Like, maybe click on their profile and see who they are? Yes, we've done that before. Um, yeah. Especially when we first started, and like it was like our first time seeing like videos from everywhere. It was like holy shit, these guys from Australia, Hong Kong, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah. I was like holy crap, and like each one was like, click, we click, always, click, yeah. click, 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 click. And to this day, we still kind of like go through it once in a while. Like not in a creepy way, just like oh shit, this place is from here. Oh shit, it's from here. Yeah. Wait, you say she? That means you only stop girls. That's this person. Oh. He's definitely gonna cut this part out. He's definitely gonna cut this part out. The next question is. Who is the most nitpicky from angt, angt underscore etc ig? Mike. Far. Mike. Yeah. Me. I'm the most nitpicky. Uh, and, what? and Anna Howe from IG asks, continuation video to getting on a dating show. These guys can explain. Uh, so for those of you who don't, who don't know, we made a video because Mike almost got on a dating show. And uh, we made a little sample dating video. Yeah. Because we didn't have another one to film that week. so it was like. And so uh, we made it for the show. And uh, what happened was uh, he got on the show. Yeah. And then um, she was like, so are you ready for uh, Thursday afternoon? You know, I got the director in here and you would go over the script. And I was like, I'm not done school for another two years. She's like, okay. <laughs> she's, like, she's, like, she's like, why? When you, she's like, when do you come back to uh, China? He's like, uh, well, first I have to graduate. Yeah. And she's like, she's like when time. do you graduate? She's like, he's like, uh, two years. And she, she gave him a big, like, dash underscore dash face, like F7. Yeah. <laughs> and then we never talked again. Yeah. Right. Would you like to live abroad for a longer time or consider to move somewhere else from Nathalie underscore chat on IG? China, I would definitely want to move back to China for a few years just because grandparents and it's just the culture is really like I'm just really accustomed to it. I know some people that are not like really accustomed to mainland, but just very much so. Um, I, I really like Asia as a whole. A lot of places I enjoy. Uh, I think um, I probably, I probably would be open to living in Hong Kong for a bit. It'd be pretty cool. Uh, my dream is actually to live to like a couple months to a year in, in, in different locations all the time. Yeah. So working remotely would be amazing. Like South America I love. I lived in Europe and I love to live in like South Africa and live with animals. Okay. Right, next one. <laughs> uh, the favorite Chinese dishes? Role Models by Pearly Pearls on IG. Favorite Chinese dish is wontons, uh, wontons, and role model is Richard Branson and um, and Godfrey Gao. Yeah. Uh, for me, my favorite Chinese dish is uh, a lam lo chou, which like if you're from you know like, they always have that in Macau on little streets and stuff. It's really good. Uh, role model, I'd say right now my role model would be um, I think I think Jeremy Lin is someone who like I think does a lot for the uh, Asian community, and I really like what he's doing and what, he, what he's preaching right now. So. I think I look up to him. Jalen. For me, Tian Bing and role model, the guy who cooks it. Tian Bing maker. <laughs> so, Christina Ma. Christina Ma from Facebook said, What was your first encounter with someone who recognized you from your videos like? Um, you ended up dating. First, recogni oh, first recognition. 
And the first encounter went along something like, Hey, you guys make videos, right? Yeah, we do. We were we were really awkward. Well, like, yo, Sean, say hi. Sean's like, hey. Oh yeah, hey, hey. And I, and I was like, I was like, yeah. okay, now, let me go back to my thing. Oh my god, like, you just get recognized. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. doing our own casual thing. It didn't even hit me until afterwards. We're like, yo, we have to like, you know, like, be more, be more talkative and stuff. Yeah, they're like, like casual man. Like, we're like, who, 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 us? Yeah, right? I mean, obviously, like, 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 I mean, now it's Mike's girlfriend, so yeah. pretty good. But now, um, now it's a lot better. Uh, it's pretty fun. Uh, it's always fun being someone who recognizes yeah. us. Even when we're really tired, we're like. Hey, what is up? You know, Canto Mando here. Yeah, we, yeah, we say we're like, hey, what's up, Canto Mando here? Canto Mando, what? What? Peachy Lowell's from IG says, secret talents. Uh, I know a lot of like random facts, especially about animals. So I can name like really specific animals and like facts about them. Animal fact naming. Uh, secret talent for me is um, I eat really, really fast. Alright, nice. Secret talent for me is this. That's pretty good. That's pretty, That's pretty cool. cool, right? Yeah, cool. pretty cool. It's cool than Sheldon's eat fast. Uh, oh, I mean, I can, I can actually burp the alphabet. Who's best at basketball? Duncan.le. One, two, two, one, two, three, Sheldon. Me. Clarissa Lim from Instagram asks, Do we sing Chinese songs when we, when we do karaoke? Sheldon's been waiting for this whole video to show up. <laughs> I personally like to sing Chinese songs when I do karaoke. I think it's more fun actually singing yeah. other songs. I think yeah. it's a lot more fun. Chinese One of the songs we always sing, we started with is Tonghua. 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 And then, then we moved on to Xinqiao. Yeah, Xinqiao. Uh, Xinqiao is Mike's favorite. Yeah. Mine is Ni Bu Zai. And what's your favorite? I think my favorite song to sing with a group of friends is uh, Peng Yo. Peng Yo Yi Sheng Yi Chi Zou Wait, is that, is that one? Nashi Ru Zi Bu Zai Yo Yi Ju Hua Yi Fei Zi Okay, what do you think about interracial couples? Would you like to try it? Uh, I think I think it's great. I think if, yeah. you, if you like the girl, you should go for it. Or if you like the guy, you should go for, you should go for it no matter um, what race they are. Yeah. I think, um, yeah, we all have experience. We all have yeah. experience in interracial couples, yeah. so we're for. Yeah, like you know, like okay. I mean, like we're from Canada. It's a very like mixed environment. Like yeah. you know, tr you know, like honestly, just our, everyone's you know, everyone's just people. You know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Meet yeah. different people. Girls are girls, guys are guys. Exactly. If like them, then go for it. Are you hoping to debunk Asian stereotypes through your YouTube videos? Asked by Connie dot e from IG. Yes. <laughs> That is exactly what we're doing. 100%. 100%. Yeah. We're trying to um, basically make you know Asian people feel more you know positive about themselves and yeah. where they are in society. And maybe like you know, like you could just laugh at yourself, laugh at these stereotypes, <laughs> you know, kind of accept who you are. Yeah. In some of the f a lot of these like stereotypes are obviously like have a bad stigma attached to them. But if we're able to laugh at ourselves, then you know maybe no one really cares. Right? Yeah. And we're trying to do it in our own way. It's yeah. pretty funny. Um, Brett Trius IG asked, "What's a trait like most about the other two members?" Okay, I hate these questions. No, I, I save this for last because they are yeah, like deep. deep, deep. deep. Okay. Um, he's actually really tough. I like well, we're not prepared about, for this at all. I like nothing okay. about them. Okay. Um, I'm gonna ask this first. Okay. Um, I think I think Mike, even though Mike can be very like tough to work with and very like annoying sometimes, he like in his heart he's a pretty nice guy. He's a good guy in his heart. And um, he's pretty funny. He's pretty, he just says some random funny stuff. Yeah. And uh, he's he's closed-minded, open-minded. Like you listen and you can have dialogue with him, so it's cool. What about me? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Edward's very calm and collected, and um, he can always he's a very guy you can rely on. And at the same time, he's also uh, he's funny. He's he's a, he's a fun guy to make fun of. <laughs> fun guy to make fun of. <laughs> All right. Okay. Good guy. Good guy. Mike. Best thing about Mike is that he's hilarious. He makes me he makes me die all the time in laughter. Super funny. Probably the I'd say he's the funniest one out of us three. Probably. I'd say so. I'd say so. Sheldon is feels nice. Um, Sheldon is one of those guys that like you won't think is very sensitive outright, but he's actually a very sensitive guy, and he'll have a lot of good insights whenever you need. Sheldon. The thing about I like about Edward is that you could kind of he's very. Yeah, he, he's very open-minded in the sense of what he'll talk about everything and he'll be able to kind of sympathize with your point of view and you know, I, like you can have any kind of discussion with him. The thing I like most about Sheldon is that he'll de he'll debate you on almost uh, everything and anything you're like, you know, not necessarily, but uh, okay, whatever. <laughs> one of those kind you of know, guys. Uh, you know, yeah, yeah, okay, whatever. But deep down, you know that like both of them have really strong like perspectives and when we come together I feel like that's what um th that that's when we could create something great and I think like 
part of the belief that I have in this channel stems from um, these two guys. So yeah. Okay. Deep, deep. And our uh, final question is Patty underscore Patty T O O two asks, "What's the most annoying thing about the other person?" <laughs> the most annoying thing about the other two, um, Mike is way too, way too much, way too much sometimes, man. Too much trolling, too much everything, man. Too nitpicky. I care. It makes me like so angry. Yeah. Also, Edward, the same thing. Sometimes, like Edward would be like. <laughs> Try to hold his stay. He's like, Yo, no, okay. No, he's, like, he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, I know I'm wrong, but like, that's the face he makes. That's the face he makes, but I can't lose. He's like, let me stubborn. maintain my ground. Stubborn, yeah, stubborn, yeah, stubborn. Stubborn is what he's looking for. Stubborn. Hey, with Mike, is that he's, he just doesn't. Realize. Am I like the easy one to pick on? Yeah, yeah, he, he, he doesn't realize he when he goes too far. Are you kidding with, me? With, will it be ego? Be it trolling? Be it jokes? He's like has no idea how far he's pushing another person. And then Sheldon is probably, um, Sheldon. Sh Sheldon's probably the fact that he just never drives us. <laughs> he's, he's, he's like, he's just like always dependent on us and never, never offers his car up for use. That is yeah. the worst thing about Sheldon is that we have to give up on gas so much. He's a gas digger basically. Yeah. The most annoying thing about Edward is that every time you talk to him, any advice you give is this very generic answer, it's like a fortune cookie, right? It's like, oh man, you know, like I just got into this accident and I'm in the hospital right now. What should I do? Edward's like, dude, just allow yourself to feel the pain, man, <laughs> and you'll get over it faster. Um, cool the thing about Sheldon that annoys me the most is that he cannot drive. Um, he's just incapable of driving. And even when you're like, oh, you'll be like, dude, just find your way here. He's like, okay, man, I'm just gonna bike. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that time. guilt trip, or, man, or, oh, guilt trip. You know, I'll just walk. Um, and then the second thing annoying about Sheldon is that even when he's cheesed at you, the only thing he'll do is he'll tell, he'll be like, you know, okay, whatever. You know, I don't even give a fuck anyways. <laughs> right? And then he'll go back to being the power that's, of now. That's actually like, so true. Some sort of book. He's like, yeah, internalizes like, anger a lot, yeah, exactly. right? He's like, I don't even care, but inside he's like, I'm rage burning suns. Yeah, but... Uh, that's it guys, hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A session. Sorry if we didn't answer your question, there were so many and um, yeah, yeah, there's, there's so many, oh my god. We respond to all the questions uh, on all three channels. And uh, you know like, no matter what, uh, there's a lot of questions about you know, like, what, we're, what we're into and stuff. And you can see that if you guys follow us on our IG, uh, Facebook or whatever, we, uh, we're constantly sharing new stories and stuff on Instagram, so just follow us and uh, you can see into our lives. Right. Had we made this a year ago? We'd have like one yeah, question. One question yeah. from her, what? Three from each from mom. Yeah, and then we'd be like going to our friends and be like, yo, yeah. ask us. <laughs> so we did in the beginning. But, yeah. but shout out to the day one fans who were there when we were uh, yeah. Chinese teachers. <laughs> <laughs> and um, thank you guys so much. Like, yeah. this poor means everything to us. It actually means a lot. And like, we love making videos for you guys. So thank you guys so much. Even in times of, you know, stress and, you know, exactly. we come together. But yeah, um, we have more videos planned on the way. So keep in touch. Subscribe, subscribe. And until next time. Side yeah. Yeah, that's good.